Well, here goes nothing then. How are we getting out of here? We just need to go up, I guess. Go on then, Starborn. Are you about to start fucking teleporting in? Everything ends. Hello. Your hunt ends here. No. Okay, well, that's worrying. Wait, are you invisible? I'm not sure how Andresia went invisible. Regenning his health. Only I'm allowed to do that. You piece of shit. You're not walking out of here. God, they have a lot of fucking health. What just happened to that guy? Did he just die? Wasn't he at like half health? God damn fucking power required. Son of a bitch. But yeah, this has definitely been the best mission in the game. This is really interesting learning about how it all started. I, I wasn't expecting that that was going to be like any kind of plot point. I thought it was just like going to be, you know. Yes, we have rev drives now and it's just a thing we discovered. And it's never actually important to the story how that happened or anything like that. But they actually made it a proper like LinkedIn thing and then told that story really well and uh, yeah I'm thoroughly impressed did I just pick up the folder instead of the fucking trauma pack god damn it Gosh diddly darn. Oh, hi. Bro, did what just, what, what just occurred? Did you just fully heal? Hello? Why are you not taking damage? The fuck? What was that gun you had? Can I see that? No? Well, fuck.
fill to full, get my challenge. Hello. I guess they're just invulnerable whilst they're fucking, like, they have that glow around them. Wait, where'd that motherfucker go? Oi, bitch boy. No idea where he went. the emissary and the hunter want to say to me. Must be near the top now, right? Surely. Feels like we've been going up for ages. Wait, is this a dead end? Motherfucker! Oh, here it is. Boop. Clappers. I wonder how many did get off Earth. Did they build enough ships for like all of Earth? And like, I don't know. I feel like I feel like it's unlikely. They definitely, like, I imagine most of the shipbuilding would have been done in America. Other countries would probably not be able to get anywhere close to the output. Well, I guess like China probably, but. A lot of countries like me in the UK, I doubt we'd have been making many ships. So, I wonder what happens there. Does America fucking share the love? If they do share the love, is it only like the rich countries that can pay a shitload of money for ships? Like, is everyone in Africa getting out to space as well? Or who gets who? I, I feel like there's no shot that everyone got off. I feel like a lot of people would have got left behind. Interesting. Two starborn ships, huh? I guess. Is the black one the hunter and the white is the emissary? Alright. What do you want? Do you understand now why I asked you to come here? The artifacts unlocked the secret of interstellar travel at the cost of Earth. An easy trade, honestly. Why have one world, when you can have all the settled systems? Um... Sure, let's listen to their explanation. I think I understand it, but... Every grav drive in the settled systems was built on technology that came from an artifact that was discovered on Mars. But That's very Mass Effect. <laughs> the gravity field surrounding Earth. Eventually, the atmosphere started to slowly sputter away into space. That's why Earth is uninhabitable. The artifact gave the scientists a greater understanding of time and space, but not the wisdom to see where that would lead. The settled systems wouldn't exist without the artifact, in other words. We owe what happened here in NASA a great debt. I've got bad news for you, bro. Your hair is popping out the top of your helmet. That does not look safe. It means you've got a big old crack. Right in the top of your helmet. Um, I don't know. It's hard to say. It is actually hard to say whether that's a good trade or not. Because, like, obviously, Earth's pretty great. Do enjoy having Earth. But at the same time, like, humanity is fucking... We're, we're using a whole lot of Earth's resources right now. It's probably going to be fine in my lifetime. But, you know, 100 years, 200 years time... The 
how much population growth is going to have happened? Like, how many resources are we going to have used up? How is global warming going to have affected things? The planet might be pretty fucked anyway, you know? So, <laughs> I don't know if it's necessarily a bad thing that we were able to spread to the stars and, you know, whatever that guy said, secure, secure humanity's future not tied to just a single planet. But obviously, the, the better course of action would have just been to have done all the grav jump tests not near Earth. <laughs> obviously, that would have been harder to pull off, given that they weren't, like, pr prolific out in space at that time. But if it would have just, if they could have just done it further away from Earth so it didn't fuck Earth up, and then they'd have eventually got space travel, but without fucking Earth, then that would have been the preferable option. But, uh... I don't know. I'll go with I agree. Don't you see? The power of the artifact forced humanity to the stars. They didn't get to make a choice. How many would have chosen Earth? What gave Victor Iser the right to choose for them? You see the hypocrisy in what the emissary is saying, right? They don't want to rob people of their free will, but then they steal the artifacts for themselves. In the wrong hands, the power of the artifacts can make anyone a tyrant. That's why we watch over them. The only thing you're watching out for is yourself. Mm. I don't know. I feel like the emissary is more right, but the hunter is more fun. <laughs> I kind of feel like siding with the hunter just for fun. He's only looking out for himself. Oh, I think we all know that. But I want you to succeed. You've never gotten this far before. I need to see what happens to you. Uh, I will ally with the hunter for the banters, even though I do not think he is a good dude or right or anything like that. But, uh, seems like it might be fun, so sure. Yes, I also like picking winners. <laughs> also, he has a cool voice. Fine. You two have made your choice. The usual place? The buried temple. Oh yes, we'll be there. I'm sorry it's come to this. You and I better have a chat. Talk through the next steps. Mission updated I ground count. I want to ask you too. Uh, okay. What's the buried temple? Oh, it's a little playground where Starborn like to fight over the last artifact before going to the Unity. You like it? It's got everything. Oh, yeah? Why are we waiting? Couldn't we attack the emissary now? No, uh, this is how it works. Trust me. I've tried this a bunch of ways. The emissary will wait at the buried temple for us. Gives you a little time to prepare before the final throwdown. And for our part, we wait to kill them until we get there. I mean, maybe the emissary will kill us instead, but uh, I like our odds. What should I do to prepare? If I were you, I'd find as many of the temples as I could. Yeah, we're not doing You'll that. You need all the power <laughs> you can get. I definitely cannot be asked to do that. Will you be coming? Oh, I'm not missing this. <laughs> I'll be meeting you there. All right, what's this favor? Keeper Aquilus. My illustrious counterpart. He's a loose end that needs tying. Uh, isn't he you? Why murder him? First, he led you to my meeting with the Emissary. Now, that's turned out well for me, but it's hardly good to have someone who knows your secrets hanging around. Second, I don't like him. You'll understand once you've been through a few times. Other versions of yourself have a habit of being dis 
tasteful. Uh, sure. <laughs> Why not fully commit at this point? We're on the hunter's side. Let me take in this moment. It's not every day you get to send an assassin after yourself. <laughs> Good luck. Cool. Oh, that's not the main mission? Huh. Revelation's the main mission. Missed Beyond Measures, the memorial service. It's apparently still not been five days. Uh, that's an artifact. Oh, no, these are temples. These are temples. Uh, I mean, sure. Let's go and kill the keeper. Why not, hey? Why not? Little bit of banter. We do a moderate amount of trolling. Imagine trying to load this game on last gen. <laughs> it's like do you have long hours loading screens here? on this gen. Mine is currently whetstone, but it changes. Speak to Raphael, I don't know who that is. Oh, Keeper! You really shouldn't have sent me to meet the starboard! You're going to regret that decision in just a few minutes' time. So many mysteries in the universe, so many unknowns that... True. I try to help out others whenever I get the chance. You are a good man. I cannot, will not be... Oh, Andrea's angry with me. That's unfortunate. She's no longer my active companion. Oh, dude. She's just gonna run laps now. She do be running laps now. That's one way to work out your anger. Yeah, let's run laps. Yeah. Can we chat? Have you lost your mind? Is there even a mind to lose? Uh. Hey, I'm sorry. Whatever it was, we can fix it. Do you even understand what you have done? A little bit of banter, yeah. Oh, we can persuade? <laughs> what is there to say? Uh, there's nothing I can say to excuse what I've done. Shit. No, but it also would not hurt you to at least try. I should have quick saved before doing this. Can I still quick save now? Fuck. Please don't give up on me. Do Fuck. Do not put this on my shoulders. I am not the one who got us into this situation. Well, we're going to be loading. <laughs> Unless this works. You're not exactly a saint yourself, you know. Ah, oh, yes, it worked. If that is true, I have my own faults. I am going to do my best to get past this and continue our journey together. That is hilarious. Then you should turn around and walk away. It would do you well to reflect on how you arrived here and what you want from your future. I know I shall be doing the same. That is very funny. What is it? Uh, you ready to head back out? Finally, I've been waiting. <laughs> Have you? <laughs> <laughs> Murders someone in cold blood, convinces her that's fine by telling her that she's done oh, some... No, Wait, what? Did she just disappear again? Andrea is angry with me again. What? Bruh. Come on. Well, whatever. Whatever. It's, we're, we're basically at the end of the game. I like Andrea, but I can't be asked to try and fix this. I'm just having fun now and uh, getting to the end of the story. 
There's a whole lot of red dots. <laughs> There's a lot of red dots. People are not happy that I just did a cheeky spot of murder. I'm assuming I can't fast travel because of all the red dots, by the way. That is why I am manually running over here. Hi, everyone. Why? Oh, I have to kill everyone? Bruh. Really? Is this not like an infinite spawn of dudes? Oh, I discovered the West End. That's good. Husband. Love to fight husband. Hello. I mean, no one's safe at this point. Random jogger. No way. You see security, mate. Do you have any idea who you're dealing with? I'm literally about to leave this universe, I'm pretty sure. I no longer care. I can do whatever the fuck I like. That includes shooting your knob off. It really does. Now, is this... I'm still counted as in combat, I assume. Hello, Avery Tal. Uh, Avery Tal's behind bulletproof glass. I just want to leave, but it's probably not going to let me. Oh, no, it is now. Nice. Don't be stupid. Stop now. Suck my dick. I already saved you, Atlantis, once. So, you know, me doing this now is just like evening things out, right? It's just putting putting nature back in balance. That's what's that's what's happening. Do I swap back to my other ship here? Hey, what can I do for you? Hi. Uh Sure. How about it? This one. Make home ship. Why can't I just do this from my fucking menu? Why do I have to go to this fucking guy? Stop right there. You see security. Oh, fuck off. Pay 106,000 credits? <sighs> Why do I always get the dumb ones? Stand down oh, now. Oh, Consider oh, killing yourself. Oh, Might I recommend you watch Low Tier God? What did you think was going to happen here, my guy? You are aware I just killed like 50 people, right? And you thought that the right play would be to walk up to me and ask for 100k? If I paid the 100k, would that forgive me of killing all the fucking people that I just killed? Like, oh, well, he did murder all of these fucking families, but he's got cash and therefore we will forgive. Okay, you know what? Can I just leave? It's been real. Peace. Boop. 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 The funny thing is, if they'd like made me care about these places, then I wouldn't be doing this, like, if you've seen any of my other series, I never go, like, the evil route. <laughs> that is very much not normally what I do, but they really have not given me much of a reason to care about these places or people or anything, so in this game, I'm just like, ah, fuck it, like, let's just, 
let's just do the crazy shit, you know? The only one I'm slightly bummed about is losing Andresia, but, you know, it is what it is. I'll fucking get past it. So, how was it? Did you kill Aquilus, as I asked? Or did you let him go? He's dead. Funny. Doesn't quite feel the way I was expecting. Well, no matter. Next universe, I'll handle it. What's myself. happening with like the blur? Let's see if that makes a difference. Why is the screen going blurry? Okay, it was just the cutscene, I guess. Cool. Um, right. Let's do this now, then, I guess. Oh, of course it's too far away. Of course it's too far away. Or is it just that I'm inside? It, maybe it's just that I'm inside. Copium? It's just because I'm inside? I keep forgetting to click X instead of A. Why would they make it? So they got to fucking click X. Obviously everyone's automatically going to click A. God damn it. And then undock, because if you don't undock, the game's like, Oh, what you mean? You want to fast travel? I can't do that. You docked. I can't possibly automatically undock you. Oh, it's too much effort. Alright, now can we go to this fucking joint? Nope, it's out of range. God damn it. Oh my god, we gotta make so many mini jumps. Ugh! I probably should have kept the other ship. No, I don't want to. I probably should have kept the other ship just so that we could do more jumps. But... The other ship just looks like a piece of shit, you know? Location discovered. What? Hey, we found cake. Hey, we found Breaking Bad. Boy, Bethesda, you sure have made it feel like I'm traveling through space. This sure does feel like I am a big old space explorer right now. Oh, yes. Oh, just living the dream. Are you fucking kidding me? This is out of range still? I'm going to morb. I can jump here, but I can't jump here? This better be close enough.
Wait, is it... Are you only able to jump to here from here? Why does that... Like, how is this distance? Like, fine, but this distance is not. They are the same fucking distance. And this, from here to here, lo which looks like a fucking identical distance from here to here, right? My fuel consumption is only 34 out of 140. It's like a fifth of my total fuel for a journey that is like the same length. This is so dumb, dude. So am I just fucked then? <sighs> this fucking game, dude. This fucking game. I hate this game. <laughs> You didn't fucking think to tell me that my ship is literally unable to go to the place that you're telling me to go to? You didn't think that might have been a good thing to say before I made like 10 grav jumps to get over here? That, that didn't cross your mind, did it, game? What was the fucking... It was like aerodynamic skill or something, right? I'm guessing I can't get it. Oh, astrodynamics? Increase the range of grav drive jump? Maybe? Is that good enough? Nope. Oh, fucking kill me, dude. I guess we're going back to... I mean, what was this? This was 112. Wait, that's only... Th Fuck, that's only a couple of minutes ago and the last save before that. Well, shit. Because I'm going to have to go all the way back to fucking New Atlantis, aren't I? And upgrade my fucking ship with a fucking booth. I actually want to die. This is so badly made. This is horrendous. Wait, why am I able to jump? I'm sorry, what? I'm able to jump all the way here in a single jump, but I'm not able to jump from here to fucking here? What? What is this? That doesn't make any sense. My fuel consumption here is 126, but that's fine. That's fucking... Like, jumping all the way through there. But here, no? That doesn't make any sense. The distance. It says on the right-hand side, it says distance 54 light years. Over here, the distance is only 18 light years, but that's out of range. This literally doesn't make any sense. this out of range? No. Oh, 
my god, this game fucking sucks so much cock. Just let me go to the fucking mission. There is literally nothing, nothing at all that is gained by not letting me go to the mission because, oh, you haven't made number bigger. Oh, this imaginary fucking number that doesn't actually matter at all. Your fucking grav jump range. Oh, yeah, it's it's just too small. Anything like, I just can help you fuck with? Off. Got anything you need to offload? Trade authority is always by. Sure, how about it? Just fuck off, you know? <sighs> None of these are even... I need starship design to upgrade my ship or something? Required skills, starship design, rank 4. I can't do... There isn't even a fucking option to upgrade this thing's fucking... Engine. It's greyed out and it skips over it. Fine, I guess we go back to the shit ship. Is that what I need to do? Make the shit ship my home ship because the fucking one I want to use just it just isn't letting me upgrade it. Very cool. Oh, so cool. God, I can't wait for this game to be over. I truly cannot wait. It's going to be so good when I don't have to play this fucking game anymore. Boy, we are on our way back. Hell yeah. This is exciting gameplay. I'm really enjoying Hello, Starfield. No oh my god, this is beyond fucking stupid that they make you do this. This is so poorly fucking made. Literally nothing that is gained from imposing these fucking irritating limits on where you can jump to. Like, yeah, it's realistic, I guess, sure. But also, this game has fucking, like, multiverses and all that shit. So who gives a fuck about realism, to be honest? Just let me jump to the fucking mission. Making me go through, like, ten loading screens to get to the fucking mission is not interesting. Nothing is gained. Are you telling me it's still out of range? I'm actually going to kill myself. What do you mean it's still out of range? Can I fucking upgrade my fucking thing further? Oh right, I haven't upgraded it at all yet. Is that, is that enough? I'm gonna fucking kill myself. Oh, it's the fuel consumption this time. Oh, good. Oh, that's great. I have 50 and it uses 52. Oh, that's so fun. That's so enjoyable. Thank you, game. Thank you. Let's make five grav jumps and see if we can get the next fucking level of that skill. And if that'll be enough. I actually am in shock at how shit every fucking system in this game is. 
looks like they fucking brought the genius minds of the generation together to come up with what is the worst systems we can implement to produce the least amount of fun possible. And they all fucking nailed it. Exciting gameplay. What a great time. Who couldn't have fun with this? Now, surely. Surely, with the reduced fuel cost, surely, surely it will reduce it by two, right? So that I can make this fucking jump. Surely. Oh, how kind. How fucking generous of you, game. You piece of shit. Am I going to have to fight in this piece of shit ship? For your sake, I hope he is. Like, I'm never going to beat this in this fucking ship, but I have to use this ship. And they can just go invisible, so like, what the fuck's the point? Yes, I will be able to do it in this shit ship. We're on the ground, 
you'll be taking point. I'm looking forward to seeing more of what you can do. What I can do is point gun and pull trigger. Very exciting. All right, that's where we're leaving it for this session. I will be continuing to record right away with the hope of getting this game finished. Because boy is it poorly made and boy do I want it to be over. Even though there are rare bright spots like that NASA mission, the vast majority of this game is just fucking crap as far as I can tell. So looking forward to being done with it. That's it for today. Hope you enjoyed the salt. See you next time.